Jim put his hand to paper and something magical would happen. A tornado of unbelievable creativity. He did New Yorker covers, paintings, books, illustrations, articles, poetry, musicals, op-eds, thousands of cartoons, 100 plus children's books. It's just dazzling. You could tell the whole emotion of a child that he had drawn just by the way his foot was turned out. Jim was the guy who made cartooning seem effortless. He would go out to a studio and he would work and work and work. He would bring in everything more than you could possibly deal with. <laughs> I could hear the scratching sound. He had set himself up with this insane task, which was have a freelance career as an artist and have nine children. Who does that? There's a joy to his work, but there was certainly a dark side to him. Suddenly, this incredible childhood, intense life experience we had was diluted like watercolor. And then I saw my father's knees buckle. It's an inconceivable tragedy, and it comes and it hits you and everybody, and then uh, then you all stagger around, and some of you do better, and some of you do worse. His worldview always was, you know, this may be terrible and that may be terrible, but I remain firmly convinced that something marvelous is about to happen. I guess we're in the world of cartoons now. <laughs> <laughs>